We're here at the Chaos Group office in Culver City, California. We set up this down and dirty mocap stage. We're using OptiTrack's Flex 13 cameras, which are here around me. We have the Insight VCS camera rig down here. Uh, we've got Darren Ross, our performer. What we're going to be doing tonight is capturing Darren's performance. We're going to pump that into Motion Builder and we're going to stream that up to NVIDIA's GPU cluster via V-Ray Cloud. So for us, last year we were able to basically get V-Ray App SDK to go inside of Motion Builder and give us live rendering on the GPU inside of a standard frame buffer. Right. This year we're doing something different. What are right. we doing? To connect Motion Builder directly to the V-Ray Cloud using just a public internet infrastructure. So what we're doing right now is just getting all the data inside the Motion Builder using the app SDK and then we're sending this data to the V-Ray Cloud. We're distributing the data inside the cluster in a very fast manner using Infinite Band. And when each frame is ready, let's say 10 to 15 milliseconds or something like this, then we are getting back the frames, compositing them, and we are streaming back just ordinary JPEGs. So you can use any kind of device like iPhone or even desktop browser, and you can be everywhere in the world. It doesn't matter actually. So you could be streaming. capturing here, and yeah. you could be viewing it in Australia. Yeah, exactly. We're going to be tapping into the scalability of GPU rendering and streaming back to us onto the monitor here an amazingly high fidelity image, multiple times greater than what we could do locally. In our flight to, to California, actually, we tried to use the V-Ray Cloud from the airplane. We were able to do some rendering inside the V-Ray Cloud, and it was pretty amazing. It was yeah. Like I mean, history. We can also art direct lighting at the same time we're capturing the performance and, and filming the scene. We can set dress to create you know, dynamic compositions the same way they would on a live action set. The actor can get a better sense of their place in the world. They can feel out the environment and be able to imagine or project themselves into the scene, you know, inform their acting. Last year I had what I was calling a Polaroid mode where I would uh, hit pause and it would kind of develop or resolve to uh, something that was less grainy and uh, clear. And now what we've got, because we're tapping into the cloud rendering and scalability, is I don't have to do that anymore. I'm seeing what I saw last year when I was freezing frame. I'm seeing that in real time at interactive frame rates now. Again, this all kind of alludes to a much more organic experience of being able to find the shot that works for you uh, in a, a natural way.